-hmm. It does. All right. We're ready. Okay, we're set to go. Ready? Boom! Boom. And I'm Julio Zamora. And on today's show, we're going to talk about the frost-free date and when it's safe to plant tender plants. We're also going to discuss the merits of buying quality tools. And we're also going to have a perennial primer. Say that mm. ten times fast. <laughs> then we're going to talk about Easter flowers and how to take care of them. And finally, a caller phoned the hotline and had a question about clay soil. So stay tuned and join us back in the garden after this short break. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609 685 one eight eight zero, and we'll see you in the garden. Does your garden have planting insurance? It can now with Biotone Starter Plus from Espoma. It's the ultimate starter plant food. The secret is a special blend of natural organic plant food, beneficial microbes, and mycorrhizal fungi. The result? Plants grow faster, roots grow deeper, flowers and vegetables flourish. Best of all, every Espoma product is safe for people, pets, and the planet. Visit Espoma.com for a retailer near you. Biotone Starter Plus from Espoma, a natural in the garden since 1929. The Bird Sanctuary at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds. We carry a flock of feeders like the Brome Squirrel Proof Feeder, which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Coles, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower, peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomer's Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomers in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomers Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. Well, Ed, the frost-free date is May 15th for the majority of our listening area. That's right. That's right. But, you know, a lot of people try to jump and try to beat it. Right. I'm going to put my plants in. I don't think I think we're done with the frost, right? That's right. But you know, uh, it's not all about the frost. Yeah. So yeah. so let's a light freeze mm -hmm. will occur between 29 and 32 degrees where tender plants, mm -hmm. peppers, eggplant, even tomatoes, tomatoes will yeah. be killed. Mm -hmm. um, but wow. also there, there's lots of annuals too, like oh, impatience, yeah. done. done. Vinca, done. Wow. They'll be killed by that. Um, even a moderate freeze, which again, that's even colder, 25, 28. Right. Uh, and then, of course, a severe freeze, 24. Wow. I, I go by the rule. Of, if it's below yeah. 40, right. plants that are tender are not liking it too much. Oh, yeah. Struggle, yeah. huh? They're going to struggle. Yep. Uh. Yep. Um, technically, uh -huh. there is a 30% chance that we are done with a freeze as of Monday. Oh, that's great. I don't know. 30%? Uh. I'm not putting money on that. Yeah. May 15th. 30%. Is guaranteed we will no longer have a frost. Okay. 30 percent, that's 100 percent versus okay. putting stuff down now, uh, you know, putting plants in the ground now. Oh so, boy. I don't know. I get the itch. <laughs> I, I, right. And, but you can do, yeah. you can do things. I mean, uh -huh. there, there's a whole list of things that we can put in. But oh, you know, good. one of the things that uh, uh -huh. I go by is What's when that? is that full moon oh. before May 15th? Oh, you go by the moon. I do. Huh. I do. How come? How come? Because uh, it has been 
shared with me from my upbringing that you always look for the full moon because there is radiant cooling when there is a clear sky. And generally, when you have a full moon, Uh it's not often cloudy. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that... uh, A little scientific there, huh, Land? I like that. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. Uh, And again, full moon is right around that same information that we just... Talked about where it's oh, a 20, right. I think it's right around the 20th. Oh, yeah. And they call it a pink moon. Pink moon? A oh, pink moon. How about that? A pink moon. And it has to do Wait with on. mountain pinks. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> we call them mountain pinks. Mountain Here pink. you go. Perennials. They have about Perennials. 10 different names. Mm-hmm. Creeping flocks. Creeping flocks yeah. Okay. So. That's it. <laughs> That's because they're pink. Yeah. And it reaches its full. It's actually, it did on Friday. So yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um. <laughs> the moon is not pink, by the way. <laughs> no, it's okay. not. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so it has to do with it. But, again, it, it's right. just something where full moon has, yeah. again, it's that radiant cooling. Radiant cooling, huh? Um, wow. Still, May 15th May is 15th. a frost-free day. Right. We had a freeze on, or no, I'm oh. sorry, a frost, frost yeah. on May 17th a few years ago. It was killing pretty, frost. Pretty tough, huh? Right, and that's wow. one of the words that you hear, a killing frost. What's killing a killing frost. frost? Killing frost kills those tender annuals or uh-huh. uh, vegetables that you're putting out. And it won't come back. Is that- and they're dead. They're done. They're oh, dead. Wow. Um, all right, so let's... Uh, so is, let's that why, is that why we're giving these, uh, fig- these class- classifications out? Yes. So they know that they well, be careful. Well, let, let, let's be a little more specific because, okay. again, a tender annual flower, uh-huh. impatience... Begonias, ageratum, salvia, coleus, mm-hmm. sweet potato vine. Right. Okay. Geraniums. Wow. Now, geraniums, if they're cutting geraniums, sometimes mm. they'll live through it, but they won't be very okay. healthy coming oh. out of it. Uh-oh. Uh, marigolds. Oh, vinca. Everybody's vinca. planting vinca like crazy. Oh, yeah. But wait. Wait. Don't plant it now because okay. that is subject to a frost. All of a sudden, uh, the leaves turn all white and they get all funky. And you're done. They're mm. done. Uh, wow. Celosia, dahlias. Right. Zinnias. zinnias. Everybody wants zinnias early. Oh, yeah. Don't plant them too early. They <laughs> yeah. like it hot. That's right. Yeah. And then if we're talking about some of the vegetables that are that same way, don't plant basil, uh, don't plant eggplant, don't plant peppers, squash, uh-huh. cucumbers, beans, all those are uh, subject to a, t- again, tender. Really? So they're going to get hit by a frost. Oh, uh, okay. If you jump the gun and you, too you much. did it. You can't go you Ooh. gotta cover them, and now, you have to cover oh. them with something, okay. cloth, cloth paper, paper, something safe. Now something I planted safe. my uh, basil the other week ago, and it kind of like limped a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's you're cool. supposed to know better. <laughs> no, you're, you're I, supposed to know better. Oh, but I love basil. Then. <laughs> I know. Well, it's, it's not going to be there very oh, long. And goodness. if you planted it, uh-huh. if you planted it May fifteenth, that May fifteenth basil is going to look better than that plant oh. that you put in a couple of weeks ago. I hope it gets soon. <laughs> <laughs> the wind uh-huh. and the cold rain that we have. Yes. Oh. I mean, Goodness. they don't like it. They want right. warm roots. Mm-hmm. They want. They don't want to feel that whip and rain. They're coming out of a greenhouse where That's they've right. been kept. Probably, you warm. know, some of them are chilled to the you know forty degrees or so, mm-hmm. but not most. Yeah. I mean, the tender ones they want to grow and be be in warmer warm. soil. Okay. Okay. So, Thank you. what about things that you can put in? Uh huh. Can live through cold snap. Alyssum, dianthus, oh. asters. Asher, wow. Nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little bit. Petunias for Petunias, sure. Yeah, Verbena, yeah. Dusty okay. Miller, right? Gazania, Snapdragon okay, stock, stock. Portulaca, a little bit. Maybe. Not a severe frost. Okay. But it can tolerate it. It may get like mm. where the leaves are normally green, they may have turned a little red. Oh, okay. Um Lobelia. Right? Yep, Lobelia. Terrenia. Eh, mm. Sometimes. It's all about how if mm. if we have cold weather and it's windy out, right. we're not going to have a frost because there has to be moisture okay. on the leaf for there to be a frost. Okay. So again, if if you go and you plant too early, mm-hmm. you end up putting it into cold soil. The rain, you know, what's the uh, April showers April bring shower. May flowers? Oh, April right. showers are cold, cold showers shower. in that it makes plants wilt. Right. They don't necessarily like that. That's why my basil's like that. That's your basil. <laughs> like, that's right. 
That's right. Oh you better, my goodness! I better protect that, that poor basil. Guy. Yeah, that oh. poor basil. Oh, and boy. and everybody's looking for plants earlier and earlier. Oh, yeah. And again, I, you'll have better success planting okay. them in warmer soil because those right. roots will start sprouting out. Uh-huh. Right now, it's just kind of hanging on. It's, right. So, it so we can cover the. Little, you're saying cover it a little bit. It it needs maybe? to be covered at night if okay. there's a chance of frost. Okay. But. Like we had some wild wind here last oh, week, yes. and that that brutal. That's anybody who planted anything mm-hmm. that's laying over on its side, yeah. and it's not happy. And those yeah. leaf cells are probably damaged. That's right. So the, the photosynthesis that is supposed to be taking place in uh-huh. that leaf is not going to be it. right. So mm-hmm. it's not going to be producing food for the plant, right. and that's why you wait. Okay. If you try to, you know, I'm going to get them in. I'm going to have the first tomatoes <laughs> on the block. That's right. It's like well. Maybe if you waited a little bit or you picked a different variety right. when you first put them in. Right. Be patient. Be yes. patient. Okay. Lynn, There's so much more that you can put in. Oh, okay. Like herbs, you, you put in basil, right? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. You can put in basil right. later. Right. But put in mint. Put mint. in I did tarragon too, right? would probably survive right. that without a problem, depending uh-huh. on how, if it's chilled. Okay. Um, at your garden centers, you want to ask right. them, you know, mm-hmm. are these... Are these coming right out of the greenhouse, or right. have they been uh, grown at a colder temperature? Mm-hmm. And, and most of our plants are chilled to chilled. so that they can tolerate oh, a colder temperature, but not a frost not or a freeze. Frost. Yeah. But there's tons of herbs that you can put in. Oh yeah, tons of vegetables. Oh. I mean, all the lettuces, all the all cabbages, lettuce, all yeah, the cold kale. crops. Mm-hmm. Yep, all of that can be wow. done now. That's so that's quite a bit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So but you get a lot of choices. Uh-huh. You, you do. And do do it mm-hmm. right, right, and you'll have okay. a great garden. You try oh. to cheat because, again, <laughs> it goes back to the, the damage okay. that occurs to the root system right. during that cold period when we get, like, a really cold rain. Right. That uh, uh, or you get a frost and you get some of the cells of the the leaf cells damaged. Uh, it's not going to be producing the kind of food to make that plant really sure. pop out of the ground when it gets warm. All of a sudden, now it's handicapped. Right, it is. Mm-hmm. As opposed to when you put it in the right time when right you plant time. Uh, basil. Holy, oh. that's right. <laughs> Thanks, lad. <laughs> yeah, shame on you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Trying to get that itch. I got that itch already. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. Plant mint. Yeah, <laughs> Plant thank you. Else, I will. <laughs> you know? or, or just, you can buy it and you can bring it in and out. Okay. You know, you can sure. put it out during the warm days, but just right. keep it inside. Keep it inside, yeah. During, during the, the chilly days. Sure. And especially, you know, you don't want to water it yeah. um, by the, some of the rains that we're having when it's a cold rain. Because okay. it's still mm. chilly. The atmosphere is still cold. Mm, yeah, it is. So, it is. again. Great. So. There you go. All right. We got that. All right. Again, <laughs> May 15th is a frost-free date. Right. You can try to jump the gun, but you may right. pay for it. Plant the things that can go out and tolerate them, the things that we there had talked go. about, especially all the cold crop vegetables, right. all petunias. petunias. A lot of the proven winners, by the way, all those hybrids, Right. you can do your mixed containers probably now. Oh, okay, good. You know, I I, I, I still say you're going right. to have colder rain that's going to hit those mixed those, containers, yeah. but you can maybe think about it. Okay, that's good. All right. All right. Uh, just be patient, right, Len? Be patient. There you go. Be patient. You like that. That's it. All, All right. right. Coming up, mm-hmm. we're going to talk about tools. Wow. I've that. got a story to tell. Oh, I All like right. that story. We'll be back right <laughs> after this. Are you tired of insects ruining your trees and shrubs? Need a product that will prevent insect damage on tall trees but can't reach the top of your trees with your sprayer? Bonide has the answer. Annual Tree and Shrub Insect Control kills insects on trees and shrubs from the inside out. One easy application kills most insects, including leaf miners and borers. One early spring application prevents insect infestations for up to one year. No spraying, no ladders, no mess. Just mix as directed, using a bucket or watering can, and pour at the base of the tree or shrub. The systemic insecticide is absorbed through the roots and will travel through the entire plant. It will not wash off. Bonite Annual Tree and Shrub Insect Control can be found at Animals and Gardens Unlimited, New Egypt, New Jersey. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center, Sewell, Washington Township, New Jersey. Butterhoff's Farm and Home Supply, Egg Harbor City, New Jersey. Bloomer's in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, from the Main Line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. 
Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com. Spring has sprung and it's time to visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bring us a soil sample and we'll test your soil's pH free. Heck, bring us a water sample from your pond too and we'll test that for ammonia and other critical levels. Did you know that Bloomers has a pond department? We have all of the water treatments, fish and plants to keep your pond looking glorious year round. Are you looking for that four-step lawn program? Bloomers carries Scott's, Jonathan Green, Bonide and Espoma's organic step program. Need to seed? Bloomers has its own blend of seed called Township Turf. It's just the right balance of rye, fescue, and bluegrass to give you a spectacular lawn. It's also perfect for repairing bare spots and matches extraordinarily well to sodded lawns. Don't forget the garden. Bloomers carries bumper crop soil amendment and all the fertilizers a garden could need. Both organic and inorganic. The best vegetables start as seedlings from Bloomers. Come visit those who know the friendly folks at Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey, just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. For directions and information, visit www.bloomers.com. That's www.bloomers.com. And we'll see you in the garden. Julio, I love uh, tools. Oh, I know you do. But you know what? I hate uh-huh. junky tools. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, the disposable society that we live in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay? And and I'm guilty where, where I've gone and bought some cheap tools. And yeah. I always regret it later on because they strip or they don't work or uh-huh. they snap. Oh, boy. But I had a, a nice visit recently. company that uh-huh. we've known for a long time. Uh-huh. Um, okay. It's a... a let me, let me tell you the story. You, I, I showed you. I shared a little bit. You did a little bit, yes. WW mm-hmm. Manufacturing uh-huh. is in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Uh-huh. Local. Okay, mm-hmm. local, U.S. U.S. Uh-huh. They, they ship wow. their tools throughout the country, Ooh. but the way that they're made is really old school. Okay. They make steel tools, and I'm talking about steel spades, uh-huh. shovels, rakes uh-huh. that are made out of all steel. And that the quality is just second to none. And and, and here, Brett, you listening over there? Okay, <laughs> there good. Go. Brett's shaking his head. Yes, yes, he is. Fellow German. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now, Walter Lesch came from Germany. Okay. Uh-huh. And that he started working for, I guess it was Seabrook. It doesn't really oh, yeah. say, but Seabrook was. Now, one. what year was that, Len? Um, 52. 52? Oh, okay. 1952. All right, Bear I, with me, everybody. Before this I was born. Story, okay. Right? <laughs> I'm going to show me your license. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, uh, uh, so he came over here to work with right. within the frozen food industry. Oh, yeah. So he was a he was a welder, and right. but he did this side job. And now mm-hmm. Bridgeton's known for a lot of nurseries and things like that. That's, that's right. And uh, there's a community that followed him that yeah. said, hey, can you make me, can you do this? Right. Can you? And so what happened is, is that he started doing more and more and more wow. of that. So he had actually opened up his shop, his mm-hmm. own shop wow. in 64. How about that? For so, the Horticultural Society? I mean, well, for, the, for not society. Well, yeah, the nurseries, nurseries. For the nursery industry. Nursery, oh, okay. nursery <laughs> and, and basically landscape industry, but right. but mostly nurseries at that time. Oh, okay. Now, I, I have a personal story to tell oh, yeah? that, again, most wow. of you who are, are loyal listeners to know that, that I've been involved in this industry from a little kid. I mean, uh-huh. like yeah. I was... You know, I don't know if I ever was in a stroller, but <laughs> but I had gone to Trachis. My family didn't... You know, we right. went... And it was family vacations when we went to go wow. to these buying shows or things. And uh-huh. I can remember, uh-huh. I can remember as a kid, WW Manufacturing you being did. at the show because my father, uh-huh. and again, I, I guess it was in my teens, wow. you know, t- or my late teens, early 20s. How about that? You know, and my father's pointing out that this guy who had uh-huh. this amazing cart that was <laughs> like it was a ball cart and it was a. Uh-huh. Uh, 
It was a cart that you could wheel around, but it also could pick up railroad ties. <laughs> and the guy was there with his wife saying, yeah. hey, pick up the railroad tie. Oh, and, and, and he was, again, he's German, so has uh, a little hint of a German accent. Grab yeah. it on that end. No, and he's telling his wife to pick up this railroad tie. And I don't know oh, if he my. picked up a railroad tie. Uh-huh. They're heavy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they were demonstrating this cart that they had oh, come up boy. with. And it and it was amazing to, yeah. to watch. And, and that where, wow. again, it just... Old school, old school, yeah. And that, again, it's it's sad to say that the Walt is and WW comes from Walt's welding. By the way, I I didn't know that until recently. There you go. But they are still making tools today. Wow, that's great. And that uh, so is children took over the business, and that they are doing these tools that are just amazing. About that. we carry them at Bloomers, hmm. but they are not for the faint of heart. Uh uh-uh. uh. They, they, they are. <laughs> no, I mean, not. I mean, no. a, a shovel, a spade is a hundred dollars. That's right. But mm-hmm. it is made from aircraft steel. It's it it aircraft. it is so wow. it is so well made uh-huh. that you will have it forever. Forever. Yeah. Passing it forever. down to your right. To next. And, but the thing is, you'll always have it and it'll always be good. It's not uh-huh. going to be where all of a sudden the handle's loose. Yeah. And and at Bloomers, we've carried tools mm. for years. Oh, True yeah. Temper, Ames. Right. I mean, all of these, sti- all of we call them stick tools in the industry. And the <laughs> ones that are, that are you know, long-handled tools oh, yeah. or spades. Right. And that the hard part is, is that they don't hold up. Uh, and now that everything comes from China, that's even it's what? just being shipped out by volume and price, not right. by quality. Again, where WW Manufacturing mm. is doing an incredible job, where they are keeping things so that it's all about quality. It's uh-huh. all about quality. There you go. And wow. we have something here. It's called okay. a Samson. I guess it's a trowel. Trowel. Ooh. Um, when I was there, that that they were saying that it. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking. All right, it's this is an expensive trowel. It's sixty five dollars. Oh, yeah. That's not cheap. No, it's not cheap. No, but it. it you know. There's a warning on the back of it that says, <laughs> be careful of electrical lines because it will go through the soil. Oh, boy. It is sharpened it and was... serrated on both sides. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, I don't know tool. if our customers are going to use that for guarding. Mm-hmm. And and the story is, is that she said that people who do uh, metal detecting right. that are going – and all I think is like, oh, there's those guys who are just bored and they're walking up and down the sand, sand. looking for – That's right. She said, no, 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 no. Yeah. And as we're talking, a guy walks in uh-huh. and says, do you have the Samson? And I was like, holy cow, she wasn't <laughs> lying or else she set me up. <laughs> uh, and But it ended up he wanted the tool by name because he that. does, like when he's in a park right. or he's in somewhere, that he can get through the soil with such ease and take out a plug right. that he can put it back in it's after right. he's found I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask him if he found a, but evidently he bought a sixty-five dollar trowel. That's right. He that did. I mean, it, right. it's it's more than just a hand tool. It's oh, a, this yeah. is it's about eighteen inches long. There's also one with a thirty-inch handle, um, but the quality. Oh. I mean, he knew. He, he knew. knew. And so evidently, right. anybody who's doing mm. metal detecting, it's and here get... I'm thinking it's gardening, <laughs> and she's saying, no, I, she's selling yeah. them by the dozens to oh, people boy. that are doing that. Is that so, funny? My, my point is right. My point is <laughs> that's right. Buy quality tools. Yes. Buy mm-hmm. quality tools. Don't yeah. buy something that you know is yeah. going to be disposable. Yeah. For one, the job is going to be that much harder when oh, you're yeah. using crummy tools. Like for instance, your mechanic isn't using Pittsburgh tools. Oh no. You know. You know. They mm-hmm. you want to use something that's good. Good. Yeah. Something that's good. Mm-hmm. Pay a little bit more, little, little and it will be. You'll use it. Oh yeah. And what happens is it becomes a friend oh, yeah. in the garden. I mean, there are tools around. Like we have a, a uh-huh. Dutch line of tools right. that, like, there's a dibble. Do you know what a dibble is? Uh-uh. What's a dibble? A dibble is something that it helps you transplant small transplants. Oh, okay. But it's that is lost if you're buying your tools <laughs> from Lowe's or Depot or uh-huh. whatever because mm-hmm. you don't even know what they are. No, you don't. And that good tools will last you. That's right. Don't buy junk. No. Buy yeah. good tools. Right. WW, right? right. WW Manufacturing is, is wow. 
They they're superior. Yes, they superior. are. Superior. Oh, we know that too because well, we, come to Bloomers, yeah. you can see. Mm-hmm. You can see real. Try one. Oh yes. <laughs> Try oh, it out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, balanced. Uh, they have a shovel oh, with a forty-five degree angle, so you uh, can dig out trenches. And how it's just smart. Oh, it is. That's smart. just smart. It is. So right. buy good tools. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, we're com- we're coming up on on another break. Oh. Next segment is going to be all about it's our our perennial Ooh. primer. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Bloomers Garden Minute. The Garden Minute is brought to you by Bloomers in the Garden, Philadelphia Garden Radio. Find us on the radio dial or on the web at bloomers.com. This is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Planting time is really May 15th for most of your tender vegetables. Some people like to get a jump on things, but really waiting may be better than jumping in too early. Cold rain, cold soil, the roots of your tender vegetables don't like that. The wind that comes during these last weeks of April and beginning of May can put your plants at risk. Tender vegetables like peppers and tomatoes should probably be waited until that soil has warmed up to the point where we talk about May 15th being the frost-free date. That's the time to get started. So you can plant at your own risk, but I suggest waiting until that soil is warm enough closer to Mother's Day, May 15th. Today's Garden Minute was brought to you by Bloomers in the Garden, Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Also brought to you by VPG, the Fertilome people. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix with EcoPeat is the perfect ready-to-use potting mix for all your succulents. Fertilome Succulent Potting Mix is a blend of sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and EcoPeat. EcoPeat is a natural wood fiber from peat bogs. When added to Fertilone peat moss, it produces a superior professional substrate with an exceptional ratio of air porosity and water holding capacity. Fertilone succulent potting mix will ensure maximum drainage with ideal water retention. It's simply the best succulent mix on the market. Ask for Fertilone by name at your local garden center. Available at Daniels Garden Center, Sumney Town Pike, Harleysville, Pennsylvania. Gaspers Home and Garden, 316 Tanyard Road, Richboro, PA. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Well, and I am so happy. <laughs> we got new perennials coming every day. Yeah. And it's like, oh, my goodness. You may have to are. replace your basil. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I will. <laughs> It's a good time to do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perennials are popping yes, for sure. Are. Oh, yeah. For sure. It's time for creeping flocks, mountain oh, pinks. Mountain pinks. Yeah, that yeah. they're growing mm. everywhere. And that yeah. uh we love it. Yeah, it's it's a great plant. But here here's something to think about. Creeping okay. flocks is available today. Right. Today, yep. And it'll be available for the next few weeks. Right. But it reaches a point when it's done blooming, uh-huh. you're gonna have a hard time finding it. Yes. So the same thing holds true mm-hmm. for perennials that happen later on, like the okay. full selection of daylilies. Like you'll be able to find Stella Dioros right. and some of the other common varieties sure. of daylilies. Mm-hmm. But later on, nope. there'll be a bigger scope of daylilies available. There you go. My, the one advice that I can – don't plant your entire perennial garden all at once. <laughs> oh, Planted over the course of one whole year, right, what? Julio? Oh yeah. What happens if you do it all at once? <laughs> <laughs> it blooms all at once. That's right. And then it's done. Oh yeah. And then it's done. And then you're done. And what's what do you have? <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. Like oh, like we've got boy. some black eyed Susans, and they are really yeah, small. Really tiny. But it's only because we know that people want them. That's right. But normally we wouldn't bring them in until they're flowering, and where they've got some, you know, it has that flowering like, appeal. Oh yeah. Same thing with all the types of. Um, Oh gosh, what 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 do we just brought in? Just regular Magnus. 
A purple cone flower. Cone flowers, yes. There are so many varieties oh, of purple cone flowers. Oh. We can't say that anymore. They're cone flowers yeah, and cone. yellow and white uh, and blue and, and every single well, not blue. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, but they're purple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. But uh, again, that they're just still we got to come in. Oh yes. Wow. So, I don't know. Plant through the entire year and and always listen. Get uh-huh. those perennials that are blooming now. You've got to go into your garden center and go back every other week uh-huh. so that you see what's available. Oh, yes. You know, mm-hmm. like, like for instance, um, what was so hot last year? It was the perennial that attracts hummingbirds. Oh, that the, it was, um, I mean, was it, uh, there was both, the Penstemon was Penstemon, one of them yeah. okay. that, that was really hot. Was big, yes. And, they're not available yet. No, they're not available early. yet. Mm-hmm. It's too early. I tell you which one is big now. Uh, the uh, bleeding hearts. Yep. Oh, people were asking for that. Yep. And you know, and and when they come short in, and they buy four or five. They're gone. Right. They're now? gone. Yeah. Because they have a short bloom cycle, right. and that there's what they call the ever blooming bleeding heart, which uh-huh. isn't the old fashioned. They oh. look different. It's it not. Is. It looks like a completely different plant. Oh. Uh-huh. So, go to your garden centers every right. other week so that you're oh, getting yeah. those perennials. Uh-huh. It, it's really important because oh, yeah. your garden will then be a mass of blooms all through the year, oh, yeah. not just because the time that you planted it is right. like, wow, well, it looks great for about you know three weeks, right. but then yeah. it's yeah. green. That's right. And then you think, oh, man, mm-hmm. you know, the perennials stink. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You can't stop. That's the thing, right, Len? You can't stop. No, You've got to continue. No. And especially with perennials. And, right. and uh-huh. there's so much to offer, and there's oh, so tons. leaf Different leaves and different leaf leaves. color oh, and, yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Hostas are oh, just starting right just now, starting, too. Yes. You know, you mm-hmm. talk about mm-hmm. subject to a frost, oh, by the way. That's one. <laughs> uh, that is one. Um, uh, but uh, hostas are just getting started. Right. Um, so many. Yeah, we got a lot of hookahs. Right. Yeah, right. Beautiful. Yep. Mm-hmm. But right now, what, what's been selling the most in the nursery right now as far as perennials go? Oh, I would say, uh, believe it or not, people are coming in for lavender. <laughs> lavender. Yeah, I was surprised. We have a few. Yeah, we, we have, have some. A few lavender. Mm-hmm. Lavender yeah. is something that even when uh-huh. it's not in flower will sell. Yes, so yes. that you can usually mm-hmm. find most of the time, but not every variety. No. Like that one variety that's you know, kind of tender, yeah. not necessarily hardy, that blondie. The blondie now. That's that variegated right. lavender. Yeah. Not, lav- yeah. not variegated flower, but, but leaf. Leaf. That was my favorite plant last oh, year. Oh. Yeah, don't shake your head that you didn't like it. <laughs> I saw you. Uh, <laughs> I like. I mean, and it's a, a Spanish, not English lavender. It's Sp- a like Spanish? a Ooh. Spanish lavender. Julio, oh, you should, I like, should that. like that one. Yes, <laughs> I should. <laughs> but again, it's it's borderline hardy. Uh, okay. So, um, I guess what else are you selling in the perennials? Oh, a lot of the rock cress. Little, okay. you know, little flower. They, yep. you know, people love those little flowers, and you know, early flowering, your, yes. early flowering, uh-huh. and that it's right. uh, you're not going to find them. Mm-mm. You know, about another mm-hmm. month. No, that's right. Because what we have in right now is probably all we're going to get in. That's right. And that we have several colors, and and yeah. oh. it's time to get it. And that's mm-hmm. a low ground cover, mm-hmm. uh, but it's super flowering. Like we. Oh. There's also uh, forget me nots are there oh, too. Oh yes, forget, forget me nots are, uh, are blooming now. That's right. Mm-hmm. We have uh, on the if you're watching on YouTube, we have a mountain pink. A mountain pink. Oh yes. Pot looks dirty. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and, and it's because mountain pinks, uh, the ones that we get, and right. again, the, this is old school. Uh-huh. Six inch pot. They're about six bucks or so. Yeah. And we we Good always price. sell our perennials where you buy three, you get the fourth free. So uh-huh. it. It is grown in a in the field, uh-huh. so this has been subject to every bit of weather throughout right. the entire year right. and the winter, mm. and that the half of the pot is actually planted in the ground. Wow! And and it's grown that way. About that, yeah. It's I like that. I like yeah. that too. Yeah, it's yeah. old school. Like it said. is old school. Yeah, you it don't find that school. around too much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But go in. Every other week to your garden centers, Mm -hmm. and you're going to have the best perennial garden you've ever seen. Your friends will marvel. It's like, what is that? Mm -hmm. What is that? What Mm -hmm. is that? Oh, yeah. And and it's because you're going to do it over the course of a year, Mm -hmm. not over the course of a weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right, and we have a lot of varieties, don't we, Len? Oh, yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised what's out now. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and it's... 
there's always something new mm-hmm. every every oh, other yeah. week. So oh, we love it. Yep. Oh yeah. Come yep. on out. So, oh. <laughs> so we're ready again. Be patient though. That's right. Be yeah, patient. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I get a little have antsy. a little bit of have mm-hmm. a little bit of a scheme. Know where plants are going to go. That's right. Just take your time. Mm-hmm. Take yeah. your time. That's right. All right. Coming up, happy Easter, everybody. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hope everybody is going to go to church on Sunday. Yes, so it's an important are. time. That's right. Um, it's one of the happiest holidays. It is. And that uh, we're going to talk about Easter flowers. Wow. Talk about happy things. Yes. Happy, we'll happy. talk about the Easter flowers and how to take care of them right after this. Here we go. Introducing Miracle Grow's next big thing performance organics. Finally, organics that work. Tested and refined by plant scientists for twice the results. Guaranteed. Don't grow a snack. Grow a feast. Don't grow a flower. Grow a million dollar view. This new organic collection of soil and plant food is what you've always wanted. No compromise, just results. Guaranteed. Miracle Grow Performance Organics. Do you want a picture perfect lawn? Are broadleaf weeds like dandelion, clover, or dollar weed taking over your lawn? Bonod has your weed problem solved. Bonod's fast-acting weed and feed uses a very effective four-way weed killer that works through the roots and shoots of your lawn. Bonod's weed and feed will eliminate tough-to-kill broadleaf and grassy weeds like onion grass, dollar weed, and dandelions. These weeds are no match for Bonod's weed and feed. Bonide's Weed and Feed kills over 200 hard-to-kill broadleaf weeds while giving your lawn a gentle 8 to 10 week feeding. Would you like to gently feed your lawn without any weed killers? Bonide can help you with that as well. Use Bonide's Premium Lawn Food with Vital X to feed your lawn for up to 8 to 10 weeks. The additional Vital X micronutrients helps your lawn maintain that healthy dark green color. So don't wait to get that picture-perfect lawn. Stop and purchase some of Bonide's DuraTurf lawn products today. Bonide products are family made in America. Find Bonide's DuraTurf lawn products at these fine retailers. Garoppo Stone and Garden Center, Newfield, New Jersey. Feeney's, Feasterville, PA. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center, Sewell, Washington Township, New Jersey. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomer's in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomer's in the Garden hotline. Dial 609 609- 685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. Yeah, we've got to get Brad a t-shirt. Brad, do you have a t-shirt? Oh, yeah. You do have a t-shirt? Does he? No. You have a sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. That's right. We're going to have to get Brad yeah, a, a t-shirt. Yeah, that's right. But listen, call the hotline. you got right. questions. Now is the time. Mm-hmm. And that you can, yeah. the way that this works is that you call the hotline, mm-hmm. you leave a message, and Julio or I will call you back within, if uh, not if not minutes, that certainly day. either that day or, or mm-hmm. the 12 hours? I don't that's know. Right. That's the longest. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we look for that hotline to oh, ring. Yes. We'll answer your questions. Mm-hmm. Yes, we will. Call us. Yes. Call us. Don't Call be us. shy. 609-685-1880. There you go. Okay. Right. Now, Easter time, oh, Easter yes. bulbs, Easter yeah. flowers. Traditional Easter flowers are tulip bulbs and hyacinths, hyacinths. right? Yeah. Easter lilies. lilies. Yes, right. And that it's a great time. I I, I love Easter. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about Easter is it bounces all around the calendar. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) It's like it's a late Easter this year. Last year it was an early Early, Easter. It's not set. (laughs) But what I want to talk about is I want to talk about how to take care of your Easter bulbs that you get, like tulips, hyacinths, Mm -hmm. daffodils, Daffodils, all this. Let's start with tulips. Okay. Let's start with all the bulbs. Okay. Okay. When the bulb is started, it's got this, like, potato-looking thing. (laughs) And you put it in the right. ground, and you uh-huh. put it in the pot, and and oh. it there's nothing there. Yeah. It starts growing roots, mm-hmm. and when it's called to grow, it sends up the stem and the flower, and then it cool. opens up. Wow! But then what happens is that the flower pollinates; it falls off, it falls off, and then it starts getting yellow. Boom. There you go. Okay, listen, you are not failing if it turns yellow. That's right. It is meant to do that. Okay, right. don't. 
Don't yeah, don't panic. Don't panic. It's a good word. <laughs> and that you plant them yeah. in the ground. That's right. But don't pull off the stem. Oh, don't yeah. cut off don't the cut stem. Because oh. think of it this way: okay. that all that potato-looking thing, right? The bowl okay. sent all that energy up Boom. to produce the flower, okay. and then it has to turn yellow because what's mm. happening? It's all that energy is going back into the bowl. So is the whole thing turning yellow? Or the just... whole thing's turning yellow. Oh, okay. So if you cut it off, what's happened? Sometimes right. that the bulb just divides, and next year you don't get any flowers. Oh no! So you want to let them okay. turn yellow. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Great. okay, especially tulips. Right. Especially tulips. Did you remember how many tulips we planted in front of bloomers uh, this year? Let me see. I think you said 7,000. Mm, yep. Wow. Yep. And, That's amazing. And, <laughs> and it looks beautiful. And uh, it's at prime right now. It's it's right. worth it's, it's worth coming by just yeah, to see it. Yeah, you got to come it. by it's and good. see it. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Red and oh, my goodness. But what we do is is that sometimes it looks kind of bad for, for a week or so uh -huh. because those bulbs are, are done flowering. The flowers right. are falling off. Uh -huh. And that we allow the foliage to turn yellow. Turn yellow. Okay. So that it goes back, that energy goes back and think of it, the energy goes back into the bowl. Oh, okay. And then it'll form another flower next year. Wow. Okay. Nice. So if you take the, if you just all of a sudden cut it off right. and it's still green, mm -hmm. that bowl may divide and you may have a problem. Oh, okay. Okay. May not, you're not going to get the results. Yeah. So. Okay. Now daffodils Gotta are going to require the same type of same thing. thing. Oh, okay. You'll see some people will take their daffodils right. because they don't want them to be shown and they'll fold them over and put a rubber band around oh, yeah, them to that. keep them to is keep that, them. Is that okay or no? That's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. Because again, you have to allow them. They're basically going dormant. Oh, when okay. everything else is growing, they're going oh, back sleep. in oh. the right. Early. And then they will come back next year to How visit. About that? So don't get upset about it. Yeah. The hyacinths are going to be the same thing. Same they're thing. not as tall, mm -hmm. so they're not as obvious. Right. And uh, yeah. tell you what, nothing beats that fragrance, right, Oh, William? my goodness. Easter, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, Easter, yes. it's a great time. <laughs> it's a great time. We love it. And that they can all be uh -huh. planted outside. Right. You don't have to worry about frost date yeah. or anything like that. Even if we were in March when March. we have an early Easter, right. they can all go outside. Oh, there you go. Um, some of the things that you got to be a little worried about. What's that? Well... There's some tropical, like, it's, it's the tropical. crossover now because we're so close to Mother's Day. Like, right. you'll have, okay. you'll see some dahlias out there. You mm -hmm. probably shouldn't put them out. Right. Gerbera right. daisies, even mm -hmm. though they look like they're really tough, sometimes they can no. get some, some frost damage. Right. And and it, it mm -hmm. damage to the roots, really. Okay. Um, hydrangeas, hydrangeas would probably be okay at this time of the year. Oh, okay. But sometimes if, if it was, like, early March, mm -hmm. Easter, you shouldn't do it. Shouldn't do it. So just plant, plant your... Your hydrangeas out, they're going to be fine. Oh, okay. Or Thank enjoy them in the house sure. until the last petal drops, and then go ahead and plant them outside somewhere because they'll oh, okay. come back. They'll come back. Um, some things like gloxinias. Gloxinia. Do you know what a gloxinia is? Well, you know what? They look like uh, African violets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with like a giant flower. You don't yeah. see them much anymore. No, you don't. I yeah. haven't seen them too much. Yeah, and that, where that. They're pretty, though. Yeah, that's some, going to be used as an indoor flowering pound. Indoor. Yeah. Okay. But again, like. If it should die off, uh -huh. is it okay? Yeah. You always say what? What are they? They're, 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 they're plants, not puppies. And we give you permission <laughs> to right. euthanize That's your right. plants. Len will give you permission to do that. Julio gives you permission That's this right. time. <laughs> That's right. There you go, Len. Thanks. So it's okay if That's the plant's okay. not doing yeah. great. So yeah, it's easy. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, be slow with your bulbs. Let mm -hmm. them go get that energy back into right. the bulb. And then yeah. they'll be doing okay. And they're going to come back next year. Oh, yeah. It's just as beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Th that's like right. That. That's right. That's great. All right. Everybody out there, have a happy Easter. Happy Easter, Coming everybody. Coming up, we've got uh, a caller. Oh. Yes, we do. Go. She's got some problems with some clay soil. Uh-oh. All we'll right. take care of it. We'll be back <laughs> after this. The Bird Sanctuary at Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is dedicated to the care and feeding of wild birds. We carry a flock of feeders like the Brome Squirrel Proof Feeder, which has a lifetime guarantee. Brome makes fantastic feeders for frustrating squirrels and feeding songbirds. Bloomer's Bird Sanctuary has a vast selection of wild bird seed, suet, seed cakes, and mealworms. We carry Lyric, Coles, CNS, Pine Tree Farms, and our own line called Bloomer's Blend. Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet contains premium black oil sunflower peanut splits, millet, safflower, and tree nuts. It's sure to attract the most colorful songbirds to your yard. Bloomer's Home and Garden Center is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey. Visit us online at www.bloomers.com. 
When you come in, ask for Shirley Spurbeck, Bloomer's Wild Bird Specialist. Mention you heard it on Bloomer's in the Garden Radio, and we'll give you $10 off a 20-pound bag of Bloomer's Blend Songbird Magnet Mix. Tired of pale green, weedy results from four-step lawn programs? That's because they don't do anything for the soil. The New American Lawn four-step program feeds the lawn and the soil. MagiCal Plus, a unique soil food that adjusts soil pH, loosens hard soil, and feeds soil microbes is the key difference. Without the right soil conditions, you'll never enjoy a great lawn. Competitive programs simply don't match up. So feed your lawn and your soil with the new American Lawn 4-Step Program by Jonathan Green. Jonathan Green products can be found at these fine stores. Action Hardware, Wilmington, Delaware, Hokesson Hardware, Hokesson, Delaware, Gaspers Garden Center, Richboro, Pennsylvania. Hi, this is Len Schroeder from Bloomers in the Garden. Do you have a landscape, garden, or plant question? If so, call us on the Bloomers in the Garden hotline. Dial 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. Don't be shy. We want to hear from you. And if we use your question on the air, we'll send you a free Bloomers t-shirt. Call us at 609-685-1880. That's 609-685-1880. And we'll see you in the garden. We're back. Glenn. Uh, let me tell you something. Yep. What? We had friends come in the other day, Ben and Robin. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, Isn't that wonderful? N- nice couple. Yes. They've been listening to our show, and they love our show, and we love them. Yep. And it's so wonderful to see them. It was nice. all the way from North Jersey. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. We, we appreciate that. That was that was nice. They had yes. spent a nice visit yes. with us. They got to meet Shirley from they the Bird Shirley, Sanctuary. Yes. They yeah. walked around a little bit, and they saw our garden center. It was yeah. wonderful. It was nice. It was nice what to a, see What a great people. couple. Yep. Great to see people that are like, we don't really know yes, if people don't. are actually <laughs> no, listening. No. Everybody out there, we hope so. Yes. <laughs> we, hope, we think That's Brett right. is our only is person our only, listening. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> We want to thank everybody that is listening out that there because that's yeah. one thing Robin said. She said, "No, you've got uh, you know there are so many people out there." We <laughs> were right. we were talking about that, but uh-huh. what a sweet couple, right? Oh yeah, it's very very sweet. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. we love them. Yeah, Robin, if yeah. you're listening, let Ben eat breakfast. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Caller, call, right? Yes, we, got a we caller. have a caller. Yeah, talking about it, clay, clay soil. soil. How about right. that, Alan? Huh, the worst. Nothing harder. Oh, All right, goodness. take a listen. Yep. Hi, Len. Good morning. I'm living in Pennsylvania and listening to your show, Dark in Traffic. But we have a lot of clay in our lawn. Actually, the whole area is nothing but clay. So what plants would you suggest for that type of soil? Thank you. Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs> well, wow. well, you know, it's clay is the clay. worst. Oh. And, and a lot of builders, you know, I don't... It, Certain pockets of the air, like Marlton, Marl, Marl, Marl Clay. Yes. You know. But anyway, there, there, <laughs> there are issues to do. You can try to plant something where you've got to plant something and adapt that plant to the clay. That's the best thing to do. Or you have to resolve yourself to planting things that will grow in clay, like arborvitae will grow in clay. And, mm-hmm. and there's some plants like winterberry holly will grow in, he- in, in clay. But... Trying to change the way that you plant will widen your menu that you can select from. Wow. So you can right? Choices, right? Right. Uh-huh. And and here's here's one thing. Go ahead. You can use <clears throat> gypsum, uh-huh. but uh, that will the way that it works is is it will take that clay particle and spread that particle where the gypsum will, will come in between it, oh, okay. basically, and 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 soften that soil soften it up. up. Wow. Yeah, you know you always hear people it's. it's Hard soil, it's clay right, soil. soil. But l- loam mm-hmm. is another, mm-hmm. loam is good, good soil, right. and it's what everybody's getting after. Right, they want that. And loam is made up of what three things, Julio? There's a test. Right, sand. Right. Um, so s- sand. sand. Right. Um, Come on. Uh, boy, Come on. Never, I'm trying to ah, tip my you're tongue. You're letting me down. Sand. Um, sand. <laughs> You for- I forgot. No. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Sand. Okay. Right. 
clay. clay. Yeah, I was going to say clay. And organic matter. Yeah, right, yes. How easy is that? So, all right, she's got one of the two, one That's of the it. three, rather. That's not good. So, <laughs> but what she needs to do is she needs to add organic matter. To get that. Right. And so, and sand. I mean, sand's going to be yeah. through different methods by using the gypsum. But what she needs mm-hmm. to do is when she plants, when you can choose other plants that have poor, if you have poor drainage because of mm-hmm. clay, right. here's what you need to do. You need to... Dig your hole so the outside edge of the hole is the deepest part. So you're kind of making a cylinder. Mm. Deep down. So you're making a cylinder Mm -hmm. so that the outside edge of the hole is the deepest part. Wow. Not the center. Not the center. You're not making a point in the middle where that's the deepest part. You're doing the outside edge. Oh, okay. Okay? And you're going to dig it deep. How deep? You're... Again, it depends on the plant. Yeah, I can't answer that. Okay. You know, so you're, then, you're planting a plant. tulip or you're, or you're going to plant a tree, you know. So you you've, got go to, deep. you've got to go deep. And if the outside edge of that mm-hmm. cylinder that you're making, all that water that would build up and kill that plant is now wicking away mm-hmm. from the root ball that all you're right. putting in that hole. Right. Now another thing, if you're going deep, you're going that extra mile and right. you're, you know, you're, you're going to – You have to. Let's see, a 10-gallon hole for a 5-gallon plant. <laughs> You're big in the biggest hole that, That's you right. know. That's huge. You know, if you've got a friend or somebody, oh, could you make that hole a little deeper, please? <laughs> or, and again, the deepest part is going to be on the outside, outside edge of the hole. Right. You're making a miniature French drain, mm-hmm. and you put some stone around, around that edge. edge so that the water wicks away, away. from the root right. because if it will wick up through that root uh-huh. and you put it just regular a regular uh-huh. hole, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah. And you also want to go ahead and mix that clay that you've just dug out of the hole bumper and you're going to add in bumper crop, right. compost, compost, peat moss. Mm-hmm. One of those things that you're adding that organic matter, the, again, the one of the right. three things. You don't have to add sand. Yeah. But if you're adding organic matter to that, you're going to get that porosity that you want so that things will drain a bit. And it also will get that plant accustomed to your soil so that it will work its roots into your other soil. But you can't do it so that it's going to wick from the wet soil because you have no perk. Right. You're going to have it so that it's on like that little mound because, again, the deepest part is where? Around the edge of the hole. So you're almost... Digging like a cylinder, right, so that it wicks away right. totally from the happen. plant root system, mm-hmm. and giving yeah. it a chance rather than having it so that it all of a sudden is sitting in water, right, because of the clay. Whew. That's right. Mm. Now, what else can be done as far as like if you have a lawn where it's have a lawn? What are you going to put down for clay soil in the lawn? Yes, we uh, recommend highly Magical Plus, right, for acid soil. That's right. Mm-hmm. The listening area is majority is acid soil. Yes. Again, mm-hmm. go get your soil tested. tested right. pH is really all you need to take care of. That's right. Um, but we do how it for does, free. How does the how does that work? What does it do? The it breaks down, again. You're talking about porosity. That breaks down that clay soil. Right. <clears throat> so the water can go through, and the nutrients are broken. Are able to, you know, get get into the uh, root systems. Now. That's right. Mm-hmm. And that. We were talking a little bit about mycorrhiza throughout the show. And, and again, that it's building those organisms right. in the soil so that it improves that that's soil. Right. And that's right. you're improving the structure the of your soil by using that. That's right. It can be used in vegetable gardens. It can be used yeah. in flower gardens. It that's can be great. used on your lawn. Mm-hmm. Uh, put it everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Put it everywhere. Yeah. Because, again, you're building your soil. You're yes. building your soil. Mm-hmm. So that's what we want. Again, it. And th- there's a short list of plants that will tolerate clay, slow draining soil. But oh. the problem is, is, you again, we talk about a pallet of plants that oh, I yes. can plant. That's right. If you go in and plant like we just talked about, uh-huh. all of a sudden it's expanded to where you have a full pallet of uh-huh. colors rather than shades of gray. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A few, a few of those, huh, Len? That's right. Hey, we're not going uh, there. No, we're not. We're not going yeah, there. We're making this a happy show. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope that has helped you. Listen, again, call if yes. you have a question. Oh. Get on the air. That's right. You get a T-shirt. Oh, how right? about that? She's getting a T-shirt. Oh, my goodness. Right? Yeah, she's going to get one. All right. Yes, sir. So call, call our hotline. There it's you go. 8609-685-1880. All right. Go. We're going to be right back after this. 
Bloomers in the Garden is brought to you each week by Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is an award-winning garden center just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Bloomers has been providing expert advice turning brown thumbs green for over 30 years. At Bloomers, we want you to ask us every question, even if you think it's silly. We share information in a friendly, non-judgmental way that is meant to teach and spread the joy of gardening. Visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center in Washington Township, Gloucester County. For directions, go to bloomers.com, and we'll see you in the garden. Spring has sprung, and it's time to visit Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bring us a soil sample, and we'll test your soil's pH free. Heck, bring us a water sample from your pond, too, and we'll test that for ammonia and other critical levels. Did you know that Bloomers has a pond department? We have all of the water treatments, fish, and plants to keep your pond looking glorious year-round. Are you looking for that four-step lawn program? Bloomers carries Scott's, Jonathan Green, Bonide, and Espoma's Organic Step program. Need to seed? Bloomers has its own blend of seed called Township Turf. It's just the right balance of rye, fescue, and bluegrass to give you a spectacular lawn. It's also perfect for repairing bare spots and matches extraordinarily well to sodded lawns. Don't forget the garden. Bloomers carries bumper crop soil amendment and all the fertilizers a garden could need, both organic and inorganic. The best vegetables start as seedlings from Bloomers. Come visit those who know the friendly folks at Bloomers Home and Garden Center. Bloomers is located in Washington Township in Gloucester County, New Jersey, just 20 minutes from Philadelphia. For directions and information, visit www.bloomers.com. That's www.bloomers.com. And we'll see you in the garden. Down by the <laughs> there we are, Julio. Yes, we are. We were getting schooled again today on the show. Oh, I asked you during the break. I said, "So, is there anything that we needed to cover?" And what did you say? <laughs> we, oh, we we went from the moon to the earth. <laughs> That's right. There's not much left in between. Oh my goodness, we learned a lot today, huh? Like, yeah. Yep. Oh, and it's and I I just want to tell. Brett, thank you. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. Yeah. And want to wish everybody a happy Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Mm-hmm. And next week's show, we're going to be talking about plants. It's closer and closer uh, to that May 15th deadline. Yes, you know, it Close. again, don't jump the gun. No. You know, if you're willing to cover plants, you can give it a shot. Yeah. But some of those things like eggplant just don't like to be cold. They no. wilt down and they... Basil, Julio. Basil, yeah, I know. You're going to be planting again. <laughs> I know I will. You know, you're going to be planting uh, again. I so, I don't know. I'll tell you what. We'll see you next week. That's right. Thanks for seeing us here in the garden. Yes. Happy Easter. See you in the garden. Bloomers in the Garden is an hour-long gardening radio program that airs to over 6 million residents throughout the Delaware Valley. From Allentown to Wilmington, From the main line to the Jersey Shore, Bloomers in the Garden can be heard twice each Saturday morning, first at 8 a.m. on 860 WWDB and again at 9 on 610 a.m. ESPN Radio. Each episode of Bloomers in the Garden will be broadcast on Bloomers' Facebook page and available as a podcast on bloomersinthegarden.com. Bloomers in the Garden is adding sponsors. Share your message to our large, diverse group of listeners. Commercials and segment sponsorships are available at incredibly affordable prices. Let Bloomers in the Garden get your message out to one of the largest and most diverse populations in the country. If you're interested in joining us in the garden, please visit bloomersinthegarden.com or email len at bloomers.com.